Now, earlier this morning, Gino DeCampo surprised viewer Kieran with a kitchen kidnap and he thought he was just there for breakfast. Nominated yeah. by his mum, Terry, mainly due to his overuse of spice and chilies, for the last hour, Gino has been putting Kieran through his paces. Well, he's back, he's composed, but is he any wiser? It's time to find out. How's yes, it been going? We've been going through this chilli masterclass for a long time. Mm -hmm. He's got a serious... You've got a serious problem with this chilli. <laughs> it's you, addictive, you know though, isn't it, chilies? It's, it's, chilies are addictive. You know what it does? It, it, it just puts them as many as he's got in front of him. He has no, you know, idea of how powerful they are. Well, I mean, yeah. you en do you enjoy the taste? No, I, mean, I, I enjoy, love I enjoy the, heat. the taste. I love the heat. It's, yeah. um, I think it's just the, the, the spice and the flavour that I like. I mean, I, I even grow them, so... You grow chilies as well? Chilies, on the, yeah. on the, you, can, you can buy the little pots in the supermarkets and put them on the yeah. window sill and you've got yeah. them yeah. Just got it. Really good. good. So, we've been, we've been throwing this, uh, some of the chilli you can find nowadays in market and supermarket. We all know about the Scotch bonnet one, the one that, by the way, that you should have never... Uh, touch with your uh, bare finger oh. because it so, actually says on the packet it's so strong that then if you rub your eyes or yeah. you go for you know right yeah then uh, it's very dangerous right. it's a mistake yes. you only make once exactly <laughs> uh, uh, the most mild one has this big green one this would be a nice mild chili I like that okay uh, very spicy are also this one we call them pepperoncini in Italian the problem with fresh chili that I was explaining to Kieran that really you never know where you stand as far as the heat is concerned. Yes, you've because got to it taste depends it. where they're coming from all over the world, right? So I would always suggest if you have the chance to use dry chili flakes if you want a more constant heat. Okay, so okay. this one that you buy them everywhere in those little jars. And could those come in different heats? Now, I mean, those you... one usually is a very standard medium heat. Right. So you know exactly where you stand as far as heat is concerned. This one, you're going to run into the problem, you're going to get a surprise. You think it's a medium one, when you're going to cook with it, it's, it's really, really hot. Yeah. The other thing, show what I've done for you that oh I put in the cupboards. Yeah, there's a slight secret in the uh, cupboard here. Yes, I, we, I showed him a secret, right? And the reason why it's in the cupboards, uh, Kieran, explain why we put the oil in the cupboards. Uh, because the light sends it bad. The light sends it back. Yes, the, yep. light, the light will make the oil rancid, so it needs yep. to be in the dark. What I've done here... Only over a period of time, not, uh, you know, uh, not, not during the day. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, over over, over, over about time. three or four weeks, yeah, it will get rancid. Yeah, so yeah. the best thing to do is always keep, keep it, it away dark. from the light. What I've done, chili flakes, two mm. teaspoons, mm. extra virgin olive oil, once or twice a day, go in your cupboard, mix it up, and then I say, this is now can be your own private chili oil. Mm. So instead of blowing everybody's mind off, do a medium chili, and then for your satisfaction, you, know, you can put you it can your own. Over. That's you can drizzle it over. Well, let's idea. have a look at uh, what you're actually cooking. Here's your finished okay. dish. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, is. a brill, a beautiful brill with a pepper sauce. That looks gorgeous. Um, uh, the first thing that we're going to do, I've got a little bit of uh, oil that it comes with these uh, roasted peppers. Now, these are. Look at that. These are wow, roasted you want peppers. Wow, you fire in your kitchen. Roasted peppers that they come <laughs> from a jar. Okay, oh, and it's right. very important to use roasted peppers. Let me tell you why, because it gives a nice, beautiful roasted flavour to the sauce. Right. And that is fantastic. Oil, we want the oil very hot. Well, okay? clearly. Because we want to really burst this pepper very, very quickly. So the peppers goes in there, stand back. See, this is what messes up my kitchen. No, it doesn't mess it up. Come on, look, it, it's two seconds. I know, okay. all, all the windows are going to be open now. No, you pretend that there is an extractor, everything will go away. So the peppers are blowing away. Then we're going to put a little bit of fresh garlic. Yeah. That goes okay. in there. Now, should we overdo uh, uh, the garlic? No, we don't overdo the garlic because it turns it bitter. So no more than about 20 seconds. 20 oh, seconds. Right. Okay. okay. We put a couple of pinches of chili flake. Now, tell everybody also what I told you about the secret of a good cook. What does he have to do? Oh. Vegetable stock goes in there. <laughs> we have to uh, taste. Uh, taste all the time. Taste all any the time good cook should always have a teaspoon in the kitchen and taste things as, as they go. go. Yeah, because remember, we can always add it, but it's very difficult to take it away. Now, this beautiful sauce, what's up? As soon as it's going to start to bubble, we're going to blitz it, we're going to make it into a puree. Nice. Okay? Now, what nice. I got here? I got a, a fantastic brill. Oh. Brill, not many people use brill anymore, no. which is sad because it's got a fantastic flavor. A little bit like sea bass. It's one of these beautiful, delicate flavors. I kept the skin on the bottom, okay? As you can see, why yeah. is that? Uh, so the fish doesn't break. So the fish doesn't break. Now, <laughs> you, you do the breadcrumb. Do the breadcrumb by, your, by yourself. I was doing breadcrumb. So we, we doing... so we got the breadcrumb here. And the parsley. Parsley. Flat-leaf oh, yeah. parsley. Why flat-leaf parsley? Because uh, the other is 
like eating a Christmas tree. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> the curly one. Very good. So, very curly pasta is not good. Then what we got? Uh, lemon zest. Lemon zest. Lemon you put zest. in there. Okay. okay. Then what's the other thing as well? Uh, the melted butter. Oh, Remember to get everything well. sticky together. So go for it. it oh, so you put the butter. Well, that I wasn't expecting. Yes, you put the butter. A lot of people put water or milk, but it doesn't work as well as the butter does. Okay. Melted butter. Then we put salt. Like this, a good pinch of salt, mix everything together, and then what you do with your hands, you just tap it and put it on top of the Is fish. Is that all like you that. do? Yeah, let's see, look. That's Carry on. very Carry clever. On. Okay. <clears throat> the good thing about this recipe, guys, that you can do this in, uh, in the morning or in the afternoon, and then whenever, you re whenever you're ready to cook it, just from the fridge, straight into the oven, Job done. So you, if so you got gas, this is a fantastic dish to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, right. So the peppers are ready. Out. Okay. The only thing we have to do is to put into a uh, liquidizer like About this. About two and a half minutes, Gina. Yeah, yeah. We're done. It's fine. It's easy. Uh, this one, <laughs> put it there. Mix everything together. I love that. He asked me to remind him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it didn't look like I was giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> and we got two and a half minutes, really. Really? Ten, ten, this in ten seconds. Two now. Minutes, okay. Now we pretend that the grill is in the oven. Go for it, here. Put it in the oven. Take the other one away. Uh, you got a couple of There you go. Okay, okay. It's all going on here. There we go. You now. pop that one in. I've wow. got that one there. How Which long was that here? Beautiful, you see. How now, long was that in the oven for? Uh, Twelve to fifteen minutes at two hundred degrees. Simple as that. Should